Uh, many years ago, I went through this period of time where I wanted to be alone. And it wasn't that I didn't like people, I just simply didn't want to be around people. And this led me to start taking trips by myself, which was a very spiritual and surreal experience. Now, one of these trips that I took, I was going to Arizona, and this was my first long cross-country drive being on my own. So I was excited, I was a little bit nervous, and I was feeling all kinds of emotions. Now, the route that I was gonna take actually brought me through Nebraska, and it brought me very close to this small town where friends of mine from camp that I knew from childhood uh, were living. And they had always told me, you know, if you're in the area, come to our house, come visit us. You can stay at our home anytime. You're welcome, you know, to come. So I called them up and asked them, you know, can I stop by? I'm going to be in the area. And they were excited to have me. And they said, absolutely, come on out, you know. So I drove out, a uh, 14-hour drive, I believe it was. And by the time I got there, I was super tired. And I pull up to this house, which is this big, beautiful farmhouse. Uh, it had this wood, red, red wood siding, and you could tell that it was kind of weathered. And it was cornfields all around. There was a big barn. There was an old windmill. It was just something you would see out of a movie, very picturesque. And I was excited to kind of be at this farmhouse. It was something new and, and something exciting. So I pulled into the driveway and there were my friends and they, they welcomed me in and they brought me into the dining room and prepared a wonderful meal for me. Now, I remember in this old dining room, there was a picture, an oval shaped picture up on the wall of this younger girl uh, about in her 30s. And she had her hair up in a ponytail, kind of a bun and was wearing like this uh, flowered dress. And you know, it looked like something out of a uh, little house on the prairie almost. And something about this picture got my attention and it just kept drawing me in and I kept staring at it and I almost couldn't take my eyes off of it. And so the whole time that they were talking to me, I kept glancing over at this picture and it just made me feel different. I, I don't know, there's something about that picture. And uh, so we got done eating and they led me upstairs and basically said, you know, we sleep downstairs. There's no one upstairs. You have the old upstairs to yourself. And they showed me where the bathroom was. And then they took me down this long hall to my bedroom. And this room was huge, I mean, uh, I'd never been in a bedroom that big before. And basically it was almost like two rooms because you had sort of this box square shaped room connected to another room that had like these slanted ceilings and that's where the bed was. And uh, the, the, this slanted box shaped room kind of was like a sitting area and the other area was kind of like the bedroom. And I remember going in there and there was this music box on a nightstand next to the bed. It was very old and kind of worn out. And I remember it sitting there on the nightstand. And so I put my stuff away and I got into bed and you know, I was so tired, I fell right asleep. And for some reason, at about midnight, I woke up and I just felt very restless. I couldn't go back to sleep. And all of a sudden, as I'm laying in bed, I hear footsteps walking down the hallway. And they come to my door, which is closed, and then they stop. And right as the footsteps stopped, the music box on my nightstand, boom, pops on, it starts playing. And I'm thinking, you know, what, what is going on here, you know? And so I go over to the door thinking, okay, it's my friends, you know, they, they are, playing with me or they want something. So I go over to the door, I open the door, there's no one there. I look down the hall, there's no one in the hallway. I walk down towards the bathroom, no one. It's completely quiet, completely still. 
So I went back in the bedroom, I closed the door, and I laid back in the bed, and uh, you know, I'm sitting there kind of a little unnerved. And I'm in bed for about 15 minutes when once again I hear the footsteps, you know, slowly making their way down the hallway to the door. And I, uh, as soon as the footsteps got to the door, the music box kicks on again. And I instantly jump out of the bed and I run to the door as fast as I can, open the door, look out, there's no one there. And I'm thinking, okay, this is strange, you know, because this is two times this happens, but there's no one staying upstairs. And how is this music box turning on by itself? So I decided, I'm gonna leave the door open and I can see out the door and so when someone walks down the hallway I'll be able to see them when they come to the door. So I left the door open, went back in bed, sat there for about 10 more minutes and once again footsteps started, you know, making their way down the hallway slowly. But this time when it got to the door no one appeared, no one was there, you didn't see anybody. And so I don't know what it was, but I figured, you know, that I was probably just tired and I was hearing things. So I said, you know what, I need to just close my eyes, try and get to sleep. And part of me thought maybe I should leave, but uh, the other part of me thought I'm just hearing things, you know. So I lay back down and eventually I fall asleep. And I sleep for about two or three hours when I'm awoken by the sound of whispers in my ear. And I look up and floating above me is this woman in a dress with her hair up in a bun. It was the woman from the picture downstairs and she's just hovering over the top of me and just floating there. And I didn't know what to feel. I didn't know if I should feel terrified, scared. I didn't know what to do. I just sort of stood there and she stared at me and I stared at her. And it was like for two minutes, she was just there staring at me. And then all of a sudden she reached down, touched my shoulder and then just dissipated before my eyes. And it's like right as she touched my shoulder, all of a sudden I felt very calm, very peaceful. I felt very relaxed. I didn't feel afraid, I didn't feel scared. I just felt very relaxed. And instantly after that, I went right to bed and I slept all the way till the morning. And when I woke up in the morning, I was thinking to myself, you know, what, what a dream last night. Like that was a crazy dream. I can't believe, you know, I had a dream like that, you know? So I went downstairs to the kitchen in the, in the dining room area and they had made breakfast and I sat down and I started talking to my friends and I said, you know, I had this crazy dream last night and that girl in the picture over there was in it and I told them my dream and they both sort of just stopped in their tracks and just looked at me and they said, we didn't want to tell you this, but we think we have a ghost in this house. And they said, you see that woman in the picture, this was her family's home. And this home has been passed down through several generations. And we bought it from the last family in, in uh, that family tree. And they wanted to keep her picture and upstairs was her music box. And some of the things that were her, they wanted to keep in the house because uh, she was a part of this house. She had a history with the home. And apparently this girl, uh, had lost her husband in the Civil War and moved out there to Nebraska to this farmhouse with her family and was so distraught by losing her husband that she took her own life in the house. And that room I was in was actually her bedroom. And they told me that, you know, they had witnessed several times that music box playing by itself and they had thought they had seen an apparition of her from time to time walking through the halls, which was exactly what I had experienced. And I, you know, I think to this day that this woman sort of, she felt how I did in that period of time of my life that, 
she was sort of alone and she felt kind of what I was feeling and what I was going through during that time and I felt like she was just sort of telling me it was going to be okay, you know, everything's going to be all right and I felt like she was sort of giving me a sense of peace and relaxation and that she understood, you know, where I was coming from and, and why I was on this trip alone. And I think that definitely made me feel not terrified, not scared, but it made me feel more comfortable on this trip and I felt like um, I was at ease and, and sort of had this peace um, on this trip and, and I felt more confident.